once they get past readiness, the next question is cost. What frameworks do you suggest for thinking about the investment and ROI of AI adoption? Well, it ultimately comes down to total cost of ownership, uh, Swapnil. And while I like to say that LLMs, for example, are probabilistic in nature, their cost isn't. Um, you know, and the price of tokens uh, has been uh, coming down steadily year on year. Now, overall cost is increasing, um, you know, for, for different kinds of reasons. Um, but back to what I said at the start, if uh, it's important to tie the cost of ownership of a particular technology to a return on investment, if it's that 20% uh, increase in customer satisfaction. And let me give you a real world example. Uh, Swapna, we work with a, a, a very large financial company where uh, through uh, adopting that human in the loop uh, uh, AI, uh, based on generative AI, uh, they're able to increase their uh, throughput rate for uh, this particular kind of financial services uh, from uh, 20 per day to something like 50 per day. Now that that is a very very significant KPI in in, in that business, and that could be uh, attached directly back to that initial investment, um, and mapped directly against the total cost of ownership. Um, and again, there's no there's nothing magic about AI. You know the token cost up front. You, there, uh, especially Google has some really great tools for understanding where you're spending, um, how to tune things. Um, it doesn't have to be something which. Um, we're spending it out of control. But again, understanding what you're trying to achieve up front is so key uh, to ensuring that you're getting that return on investment. And some of the, again, I'll, I'll make a brief comment on some of what we're seeing in the tool space. While token costs are going down, I'm sure you've kind of saw yourself swap now about the likes of Cursor and Anthropic uh, getting rid of their unlimited tiers for their coding tools, which are a different class of AI tool, of course, but. Same rules apply. While token costs are going down, usage patterns are adapting to cheaper tokens. And in fact, the total cost of ownership of these platforms is actually skyrocketing. And as a result, the companies are having to react. So again, uh, thinking about the use case, thinking about, well, how many tokens am I, is our use case going to, to consume? What does that scale up to? You know, with the right kind of, you know, technical expertise, which I think is, reach, uh, you know, perfectly reachable by an organization without any particular specialist. Um, I think it's, it's, it's possible to plan up front. While you're still small, while you haven't, you know, you don't have, um, AI in your critical path. And, you know, that's why I recommend small use cases that are maybe lower risk as, as an initial way to test the water for, for people looking to adopt AI in 2025.